Hi, I'm Adia Bodre. Some of my friends call me David Itireka. And so, on spirituality, I just want to continue the conversation I started last time about the need for God in your life and everything that you do. Um, people often ask the question, why is there love even in the world if God were to be real? And I always answer them, I would say, well, God is a gentleman and he doesn't intrude. He created man in his own image and his own likeness and he does what he likes in heaven. God is a being of personal choice and so he created and gave man the capacity for personal choice. And by that choice, man at times decides to exclude him from the environment and from what man does. Now because of that, evil or negativity uh, because man's injustice to man based on man's choice is the reason why we're going through what we're going through. So God is not an absent God. He has given man the brief to actually control his environment and be in charge and choose good because he wants man to worship him or serve him out of his own true free personal volition. But however, man chooses to do otherwise and then man comes back to blame God. No, it's actually what man does to man. This is why we have the injustice in society. The other thing I'd like to address today is that personally be a seeker uh, there are many schools of thought about God and what happens and who God is and who God is not and I always tell people that your personal experience is the most important thing now what's God saying to you who is God to you how have you experienced him in your life personally have you prayed to him recently have you tried to ask about what you're doing from him recently do you have a personal relationship with him this is far more important than anything any pastor preacher imam imam any religious leader will tell you Oh, by the way, I personally am, I believe that Jesus is the only way true. Um, I believe that he's the way, the truth, and the life true. I believe that you can only see the Father through Jesus Christ true. But I always tell everyone around me, start to know God for yourself first of all. It doesn't matter what somebody has told you as reported speech. Did you see him? Have you met him personally? Do you know God for yourself? Can you say he has helped you? Can you say your life belongs to him? This is the first place to start from and please don't mix that step. God Almighty, He created with the faculties that you can see and hear Him. And because you can't see the TV signals in your room, because you don't have a TV set, doesn't mean the signals are not there. Because you cannot see electromagnetic waves in the atmosphere does not mean they don't exist. Because you cannot see God physically does not mean it does not exist. You must accept your own personal responsibility to be a seeker. And that's the bigger point. You must for yourself seek God. You must for yourself unjudgmentally look for Him. And again, God is love. And so there is no hate in Him. He's always love. And God is looking for you to, to actually come closer to Him. And that's a personal responsibility that you must take for yourself and your life. And trust me, one with God truly is majority. In life, success happens when you follow God. It's my personal experience and I invite you to actually experience God for yourself. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Go find God.